Hey everybody, Blair Cars here once more with Let's Play! Legend of Zelda, the Mesh Cap. In the last part, we did stuff. Reminds me, he's going to see something. We got the dash attack, we got Pegasus Boots. I didn't run now! And we are now ready to go to Castor Wilds. It's an interesting place. Castor Wilds is probably the most annoying if you're not ready for it. By the way, Parsi, here's your fragments, if you would please. Thank you. It's annoying if you don't know what to expect there. Otherwise, it's actually not that bad. Seeing the quest beforehand is probably the worst bit. And this is actually a sign that it's a part of a whole. These two are one. Two lost and broken halves, like me and my beloved. Sorry, I had to. Um, it's not a bad dungeon. It's not a bad place. The worst bit is the... Actually, the game does start getting bigger. There's more and more added in to the dungeon preamble, I guess you could call it. Ow! I knocked her up! There's more being added as you keep going. Like, Kronel was longer than the uh, intro to the Mesh Woods, by the way. Yay. Is that it? Um, the intro to this is longer than Kronel. I mean, look at the quest we did just to get here. This is the Castle Worlds, and there's a rope there. Or snake. I don't like this place. It's more annoying than it is inventive. Also, the mystical Zelda theme. <laughs> it's because it's not bad, don't get me wrong. It's just I don't really rate the, the area. There's a lot better areas out there. I think we do have to go down here for some reason. Ah, get bloody! Can't snack. Huh, how was he? No! Hmm. So a guardian is protecting the treasure. Take care and fight it. Meet the Dark Nut. The Dark Nut is... It's a bit, it's another swordsman. You need to use your sword skills to fight it properly. Try and bypass the shield if you can. That's literally all you gotta do. I say that like it's easy. It's not an easy fight, as you can. I can't remember how you're meant to fight this thing, that's the worst bit. I think just dodge and counter. Keep an eye out of the holes in this defense, he will put some on. Your shield does work once here. I've never learned how to properly fight these things. Okay. Get. I know it's from that, but I'm swing as much as I can. While these are breakthrough. There we go. Believe it or not, that was that was an easy one. And we got an orange can, a yellow can stand piece. What? That's a weird one. Hmm. Strange. I actually forgot about that fight, that's the worst bit. <laughs> the Dark Knight fights aren't that bad. It's just about, you know, using your swordsmanship, remembering how to fight, really. There's not a lot to them when you get used to them, it's just. Really? There's more to get out here. Uh, now that is one nasty looking statue. Ah, it's such an evil glower to it. You're telling me. Um, I forget where I need to go. I think it's north. Can't wait to save my life. Just down here. There's a bowler thing there. Um... Yeah, I get it. Hey, the Eagle Scrub. Or Business Scrub, sorry. I have never. Do you have a cooking zone? Oh, Fusion. Be complete, my friend! Do business! In this merry world! Unhinged. Well, I guess hinged, because you don't want to be slavery, but still. I do wish it was slowly, like, growing down or something. So I need to find a bow. I can't 
can't remember if you do find it out here, that's the worst bit. Maybe you find something out here. Uh, was it the bow? Whatever, it's pinned off above ways now. There we go. Uh, flip. I used to remember this. That was it. I was lucky. Go get this way now. And yeah. Blow away! It does actually work out more efficiently doing this way than to not build up apparently. It's annoying like that. You gotta do this sometimes. I mean watch. We can do that and just get going. Slow at start, but slow at start acceleration, but then you just get started straight off. Oh god damn it! They're not threatening. Thank you. Hey. Ha! Ah, we got a bow! A mainstay of just about every single Zelda game. I don't think there is. No, there are some that don't have it. Not many, though. There's always some kind of ranged weapon in Zelda games. The bow is just about in every single Zelda game, apart from. I think about two of them. And they're the Oracle season. They're the Oracle series where you get Slinging Shot and Deku. Well, not Deku, uh, Sea Chewer. That is what we're missing. Now the Castle World is practically fully open to us. It's actually so not missing. Right? So let's actually go and see about those statues now. I mean, they gave Ezlo the creeps. And you can probably tell what they are if you don't already, but yeah, let's, let's find out. Ladies and gents, say hello to Armos. Three shots to the eyes, kill it, and explodes. Gives you heart. Oh, doesn't normally give you heart, but hey. Gives me heart now. Feels generous. Ah, never. Turn left. Turn next. You reach your destination. Have a kinstone piece. Can't they give us something valuable? I don't know, like money, funds, countries. Yeah, like those. Oh, what shape is that in? That's actually what I need. Uh, orange or yellow or gold kinstone pieces, or whatever you want to call them, are actually quest related. You do need them for the game to progress. There's eight of them in the game total, and not all of them are in Castle Wild. I think it was eight, was it? I need to manage to one. There we go. Arrows! We've got a quiver of 30 if you haven't noticed, by the way, so yeah, feel free. There's not, you don't really need to hold on to it. Blue that face, of course. And ruby likes. Red ruby likes, that's the worst. And dead. 340 rubies. I do like this, by the way. Ladies and gents, say hello. To a new heart container. That's eight hearts now. Swift Blade the First. Though my body may perish, I am still the true master swordsman of the Hyrule. Swift Blade the First, Spirit of the Swordsman. If you train with me, I will teach you skills that are out of this world. Hmm. Seems you're not yet ready to train with me. Come back when you have all seven Tiger Scrolls. There are seven Tiger Scrolls. There's eight Tiger Scrolls in total. He has one of them. Four you get from your Swift Blade. There are. Three other swift blades out there. So, you know, get lucky. It is a worthwhile reward if you do uh, if you use all the weapons in your arsenal. Oh, hello. Thank you. And we want this. These will be explained later on. In fact, really close to the point where they get explained. Okay, rope. One, two, three, 
for. Dead. Easy. Yeah, let's just. I want to see what happens. Do we bounce off or. Oh no, we actually can go Sweet. And we can't swim yet. Just typical. If we could swim, this would be so much easier. Then again, it wouldn't be an adventure if we knew how to swim straight me off. Third concern piece. That's all the ones you've cast a while. Now you need to go to the left. And you might have seen them earlier. They're over this way. Oh god, no! See these statues? These statues all have a kinstone piece in them. The trick is to find the kinstone piece that fits and do fusions with them. You basically need all three golden kinstone pieces out here. I do love how to go from like to a small one. We need this one here. And we need this one. There we go. I do wish they didn't just put this in here. It feels contrived. Like an excuse to keep going, but then again, the players can turn. Welcome to the Wind Ruins. The Wind Ruins are a very small section that's dedicated to getting you towards the temple. The temple is not very far away. It's literally through here. It's on this. I think I need the bow again. No. But we got a concern piece now. These, okay, these are Armas, Armas Knights. Apparently there's a difference. You turn them on by walking into them. Otherwise, just keep slashing and die. They try and go back to the default position. There is actually something neat about these that I love when you see it. You see this Armas here? This Armas has no white light on its head. It also has like what looks like a ladder. If you go here, oh hey, a minish. Those st oh, solar statues here are built by the minish ages ago to help humans. It's kind of a secret. There's a switch that inside that turns them on or off. Remember that. Also, red can stand loose because we need more. That's probably the most useful tip we can give you in this area. Just so come up here. On you go. I love this. It's it's really clever. And should I show? One, two, three, four. Dead. I can't remember if these have the higher chance of damn it leaders of dropping kinstone because I have these are the moblins. I think it's the moblins off the top of my head. There's no key in having to drop more money. Nailed. Alright, um jump this uh, uh easy. Uh, I think it's gonna kill them all here. Yep. I think we need to go down so What? It's not a repeat area. Don't you down! Get! Oh, money. Not so bad. Oh, yeah, this is area. Right, before we do that, let's go back and see where the, that hole led to. Because I think there's a minish here you meant to trade, you can trade with. Sorry, fuse with rather, not trade. Uh, it's this one. Oh, random dungeon. Ow. Son of a gun. I'll take random dungeon for 500. Ooh, he's fast. Damn it! Every single damn time! Thank you. Nope. Got too eager. Anyway. Yoink. He's a car. Another one. So I think it's because it's like, mm, I think it's five heart containers, you get eight hearts, that's 12 heart containers left, that's 48, if I got the math right? 12 times 4? Yeah. 48, I mean, they won't get back in, 48 heart, uh, heart pieces to find in the game. And really most of me find confusing. I'm not going to say it's unfortunate, it is actually quite inventive, but it gets annoying at that point where you got to just find this guy to fuse to get a few heart pieces. We have to do the only thing about walking through this and avoiding the rope. And we've got to go a long way around because of overgrown bushes. This actually gets easier. 
Are you sing army? So you need to turn this. Ow! Damn it! I'm gonna just hurt him. This is near the gate's hitbox. I wish they brought this back. It's actually really clever. Just being able to just go inside your enemy, um, yeah, the armor knights, and just turn them on and off. Two, three. Oh, you know, you're dying anyway. Kinstone. What piece is that? Not what I need. Well, actually, considering the the single fusions. Down. I think there's one more I need to do with the statues. I guess there is. So all these turned on, apart from well, this guy at the end, who just instantly runs down there to block the way. You can't turn him back on. What we need to do is turn him off. Like so. Let's place powers down, that's it. You also need to kill these three, I believe. Uh, this is actually for the quest, this is just uh, to open a room. Oh yeah. Really? You're not shelling out rewards, are you, game? There we go. That's what we need. Rewards for that. Money and... money? Shells. 50. Nice. It's not bad, actually. I think it's kill all the ropes here. Yeah, it's kill all the ropes, and you actually go and open the way. I can't remember spying these counters, but yeah, we're killing them anyway. You all die to my blade! All of you! Yeah, that's fine. All of you are dead. I am the destroyer of worlds! Also, yeah, that's it. So, ladies and gents, welcome to... Fortress of Winds. Now, I'm not actually going to start this now, I'm going to start this another time, because I am out of time. Next time, let's play Legends of the Mage Cap. We're going to do the Wind Ruin, uh, I'm saying now, Wind Ruins, and we're going to see what's inside. I hope you enjoyed this part, folks. I've been Lurkarsh, you've been you. Join me again next time with more in, the, in Legends of the Mage Cap. See you next time.